A warning for the county tonight for people who use public transportation. Officials say they have received reports of tuberculosis cases on the MTS trolley's blue line. Riders may have been exposed between January 27th and February 29th between two stops and may have been exposed at different stops on February 16th. The exact locations are listed there on your screen. If you have any of the following symptoms, including a persistent cough, fever, night sweats, unexplained weight loss, officials say you should consider getting tested. New tonight, a raising canes and a car wash have just been approved to build to be built in Lemon Grove, but the proposal didn't come without some pushback. Kasha Gogorczyk is live for us in Lemon Grove with more on how the developments will affect the community. Kasha. Good evening, Kathleen. Well, some believe these businesses represent growth and increase in tax revenue. However, both of these new businesses will have to displace existing businesses and residents in order to move in. You think they care about us? No, they care about selling chicken. A newly approved Raising Canes in Lemon Grove will kick out some residents and businesses. I love canes, you know. But another food restaurant. Some renters along Pacific Avenue have been in their homes for decades. It'd be good for some people, but it's going to be sad or devastating for some people like myself. I have a family. The Lemon Grove Planning Commission also moving to approve a quick quack car wash next door to Raising Canes. That's going to be the end of the, our business, the next door in the pharmacy. And uh, I'm very worried about this because I don't know what I'm going to do. It can only move forward as a whole and it's only feasible as a whole. While another car wash had been previously denied in the area, the landowner's representative repeatedly said the developments were a package deal. The two businesses will take up 10 parcels of land on about an acre each along Broadway, but will also affect properties on Buena Vista and Pacific Avenue. Legally, we, we have to give them 60 days. I'm prepared to give them more than six months. Uh, I'm personally prepared to help them find uh, another home. Collectively, commissioners and community members empathized with residents being displaced, but still applauded the opportunity for growth. We need businesses to find Lemon Grove attractive, and the way that we do that is, you know, them seeing other businesses come in. And these developments will be allowed to move forward with the approval of the Lemon Grove Planning Commission tonight. The developments will only go before the City Council if someone appeals the decision. Reporting live in Lemon Grove tonight, Kasia Grigorczyk, Fox 5 News.